Hello everyone and welcome to a big old celebration of Halo, the community and Morris dancing. Oh, we were running over, I cut the Morris dancing section. Uh, you haven't prepared anything, have you? No, no. So yes, the Halo community, we asked you to send the most satisfying and spectacular Halo Reach multiplayer moments nestling in your file shares. And for the rest of the show, we're going to be showing off some of our favourites. Yep, it shows off what Halo multiplayer does best. Unscripted moments of hilarity, awesome action movie set pieces of destruction and more teabagging than a PG Tips factory. To accompany the community carnage, Team IX's resident Halo fanatic Ryan Trite caught up with David Ellis from 343 Industries to talk about Halo Combat Evolved Anniversary and Halo Fest. And Morris dancing? No. Joining me on the show today is a very special guest, our friend from 343 Industries, holders of the Halo keys, David Ellis. Welcome to the show, my friend. And we need big pockets to hold those keys. Thanks for having me, Brian. No problem. Now, David, you have a few exciting bits of news to share, not the least of which is that you've got the Halo Combat Evolved Anniversary Edition coming, which obviously is coming with a bunch of new uh, multiplayer maps for Reach. You know, what can you kind of tell us about what's coming down the line in really just a couple months? Well, we were really excited to announce Halo Anniversary at E3 this year, uh, alongside Halo 4. And we've been kind of trickling out throughout the summer, with some tidbits here and there on both the campaign and the multiplayer side of Halo Anniversary. Uh, we've kicked off a, a weekly Halo bulletin on HaloWaypoint.com, so right. if you check that out every week, we've been dropping some hints here and there for what people can expect. Uh, a huge part of, uh, especially because we're checking out the multiplayer footage here, uh, a big component of Halo Anniversary is uh, the fact that there are going to be six new multiplayer maps and one all-new firefight location uh, that's actually going to be playable through Reach through Halo Anniversary. Perfect. Now, one of the things that I feel like Halo as a franchise has done so well in the past is that not only do you support things through the maps themselves, but you're also constantly kind of tinkering behind the scenes with stuff like title updates to introduce new features, um, new just you know playlists and things like that. Obviously, you know these maps they're not just coming out static. You're going to support those with a title update as well, correct? Yeah, I mean we've recently taken over all backend support for all Halo titles as part of the transition uh, for us kind of taking over the reins, as it were. We have recently announced a title update that will become the Halo Reach. Uh, main thrust of it is actually adding some supports and hooks into uh, the matchmaking and multiplayer uh, to kind of help replicate a more classic uh, gameplay experience for the new maps and anniversary. And I think, um, I mean, just from reading the, the bulletins myself, I mean, you, got, you haven't gotten into a lot of detail, but I just get the feeling that as a classic Combat Evolved fan, you know, people are going to be pretty happy. Well, our community manager, uh, BS Angel, she's actually done a fantastic job uh, kicking this off. It's, it's actually a really entertaining read. I, I work here and I like reading it, but uh, she's done a good job dropping some hints in plain view of what kind of things people might expect. And I think I, I, one question that I would ask, um, you obviously have Halo Combat Evolved Anniversary, which is its own thing and comes with these multiplayer maps but there will be a way for Halo Reach owners as well to pick up the maps, correct? Yeah, I mean, we've talked about this a little bit, and I, and I certainly can understand some confusion because it is a, it's a complicated project. I mean, if you pick up uh, Halo Combat Evolved Anniversary in November, uh, you'll get one disc that has the full campaign experience from Halo Combat Evolved, uh, both the classic view and new graphics mode. Uh, you also have a multiplayer component, which will actually launch you into Reach, uh, Halo Reach. And that's where you'll be able to experience all the new multiplayer maps and Firefight. Uh, now, if you haven't picked up uh, Halo Anniversary for whatever reason, uh, we will uh, offer the maps as a separate, uh, separate download eventually. Uh, where you haven't talked about specifics on timing, but uh, I think if people look at what we've done in the past, there will probably be a quicker turnaround than previously. Now, of course, probably the next, the biggest thing that's coming up for, for the Halo franchise in general is Halo Fest, which is part of PAX Prime. Uh, can you talk just a little bit about what is Halo Fest, what can fans expect to get from that, and if they can't come to PAX, you know, is there a way for them to experience that? Uh, if you aren't familiar, we've uh, partnered with PAX Prime this year in Seattle, and we'll be offering uh, Halo Fest uh, as a free add-on, basically, to PAX Prime that runs in parallel. And it's basically a celebration of the first 10 years of the Halo franchise, and uh, in a lot of ways, it's kicking off the next 10 years, what we hope is the next 10 years of the Halo franchise. You know, it'll run August 26th to the 29th. Uh, people can expect you know, exclusive panels, videos, interviews, uh, opportunities to maybe see and get hands-on with some items in the Halo universe that, uh, honestly, the public's never been able to touch before. Uh, we've talked about that we're bringing the uh, full-sized, functioning Halo Warthog, nice. Beretta, 
workshop built for us a couple years ago, and that's actually on a boat right now from Australia, Australia uh, cool. coming over to Seattle. So uh, honestly, it was just an opportunity to have some parties, hang out, have some fun, and uh, you know, if you're a hardcore fan, it's going to be the first extensive hands-on for Halo anniversary anywhere. And if you can't get to PAX, um, how can people kind of get eyes on with, with what's happening at Halo Fest? So we actually partnered up with IGM this year to offer, in, in addition uh, to everything we're doing on site, uh, they'll actually be there filming all the panels, doing exclusive interviews, kind of giving you a, a on the show floor view of what's going on at Halo Fest. And the nice thing is because of the way the partnership has worked out, it won't cost you anything, you'll be able to watch it online, and we'll also be adding all that stuff to Halo Waypoint alongside all the IGM coverage. Well, thanks so much, David, for uh, for joining us on the show. And I hope everyone's enjoyed the look at some of these kind of amazing community clips that we've let play as David has been kind enough to talk us through uh, what's happening with the Halo franchise. Um, be sure to stay tuned to Inside Xbox. We will also be at the at Halo Fest giving you some coverage right on the Xbox Live dashboard. Thanks, everyone, for watching Inside Xbox. Thanks, David and Ryan. And I hope everyone enjoyed some of the amazing clips playing in the background as David took us through what's going on with the Halo franchise. I like the bit with the spaceman shot the other spaceman. That was the best one, yeah. Thanks, everyone, for watching Inside Xbox. The end. Oh.